Hi guys, in this video I'm going to do some work on this uh, HP Compaq NC6320. Basically we got this uh, online for a work colleague for uh, 15 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cheap. Uh, it has a Windows XP license and my colleague needs it for uh, diagnosing his car basically. So yeah, it doesn't have to be extremely powerful. Also, uh, I will do just a tiny upgrade. I will try to upgrade the memory and uh, the hard drive from 80 gigab gigabytes sorry, to 320 gigabytes. That is not really needed, but uh, usually bigger hard drives are a little bit faster. They are newer generations and hopefully that will speed up uh, just a little bit this uh, laptop. And for the memory I will try to add a gigabyte of RAM. I'm not really sure, I think this one has... Uh, let me just see. Probably it's written on this from when I bought it. Yeah, it has 512 megabytes. So I will try to add one gigabyte to do 1.5 gigabytes and see how that goes. But uh, I have some memory modules from uh, the same work colleague that we don't really know if they work or not. So I will test a few of them, see if they, if they work and the ones that work probably will remain in. If num none of those work, I have another one gigabyte module from somebody else and uh, I will put that in. So some RAM is going into this laptop in a way or the other. So let me just uh, try and turn it, turn it on. It should have some small spots on the display that was uh, advertised, but hopefully not uh, extremely bad. So, let's see how it goes. Okay, it's powered on. These are the specs. And basically the single problem with the display, there is a tiny bit of hue shift in this uh, area, but for car diagnostics, this doesn't even matter at all. So, I will upgrade it. Then it has to be cleaned a little bit, because who owned it before had some uh, animals in the house, pets, and is full of hair under the, under the keys, so that's quite annoying. Luckily I'm not uh, allergic. So, yeah, I will turn it off, turn it around, and try the memory chips. Those are the ones that I don't know if they work, and that one there works for sure. But these are uh, free. For that one we will have to pay. So hopefully these are good. Let's see what we can do. Okay, the first upgrade, because it's the easiest to do, that the hard drive works for sure, is to replace the hard drive. So I undid these two screws here, taking this off, and basically this should just come like this and out. So this is our little hard drive. Sorry, I'm having trouble talking today. This is our little hard drive that is going to be replaced. Let me just see. Yeah, it has screws. Two of them. So I will undo those in a moment. The new hard drive is in. And just a heads up, this one, for example, is a little bit thinner. That means that it will not stay pressed in here so it can move. Basically, you have to put all four screws, even if the original one was held, held in place, sorry, again, I can't talk today, held in place only with two screws. You have to put uh, two in the back also, because if not, it will move and break the connector in time. So we don't want that. Now, if we have all four screws in place, you just put it in its... Uh, position and basically you should be able to push it. Don't push on it uh, too hard, make sure it goes inside the connector and then push it. 
Now this one uh, didn't seem to have uh, other things keeping it in place. So yeah, probably this is uh, the case in this model. But I'm still thinking that it should uh, have a screw there. So yeah, for the moment I will leave it like this. But I might uh, investigate and put a screw there if it is needed. If not, just put uh, a sponge or something to keep it pressed by this, so you don't don't have uh, problems. But yeah, for now this is going in, and let me try and tighten this with my left hand. Hopefully that works. And it it uh, does. Next, I will take off uh, most likely this. Not really quite sure as it this is the first time I'm working on this laptop. Okay, this might be tricky. Sorry, I'm putting my hand in front of you, but uh, this is the only way I can pull on it. It is out and here we have one of the memory modules the other one most likely is under the keyboard almost all uh, all the time when you don't find both of them one next to the other the other one is on the other side of the motherboard but luckily we are interested only in this one of course if i find out that two one gigabytes uh, memory modules work I will try to replace the other one too, so we get 2 gigabytes on this machine. But I'm not really confident about that, so let me just start uh, testing them. Basically this is the first one, 1 gig module. You just put it in place and then push on it so it will latch. And that is about it. Now uh, I can turn it around with one hand, so I will stop the video and try to power it on. This is the first memory module. Basically it is powering on, but it has issues. I will try to clean the context a little bit, reinsert it, and if it does the same, then I will go to the next and the next, but I will not do that on video because it takes too much time. I will uh, record only when I find one that is working, or maybe more. Hopefully more. Okay, basically the only one that works is the one that we already knew it worked. The one that we will pay about two pounds for. So yeah. Uh, these two are giving uh, corrupted uh, display. That one is not powering uh, at all. Those are uh, other type of uh, memory. They are DDR1. So yeah, that's about that. What can you do? But this one is completely working, so I will just uh, close everything up. If it would actually clip in place, it did. So the upgrade part is finished, now I will install uh, Windows XP as it has uh, a key and uh, see how that goes, how this uh, little thing works and if it uh, charges the battery because we have no idea if the battery is any good. So we might actually get a car charger for it, so we don't buy a new battery and uh, use it for diagnostics with a car charger, so that is powering it on directly. So, yeah, let's put Windows onto this one. Just a quick update. Something was rattling inside the laptop and I decided to uh, take this out again and uh, shake it a little bit. And these were all inside and fall out in the end. So basically this one is the one from here. If it would actually go in or not 
It's not even from this laptop. No, it is going in. So yeah, that's uh, that. <laughs> These probably are hard drive screws and they have been uh, replaced with other ones when they couldn't find them. Yeah, really nice. Okay, they are out and let's put Windows uh, on this laptop. Okay, after a few more hours of work I finally managed to finish everything. <sighs> You can see the configuration here. The laptop is running perfectly. The display seems to be in way better condition than we thought. All drivers are installed. This was quite a pain because you can see the list is really, really, really long on this laptop. And some of them were not even listed in the page for this particular uh, product so yeah I had to search on other laptops desktops to install everything but it is done and then I spent a lot of time to remove all the crap that was uh, bundled with the drivers and was uh, loading at every Windows startup so basically I run MS config and disabled all that was not needed so yeah what can I say? It is finished, it is running perfectly, 1.5 gigabits of RAM, 320 gigabytes hard drive, and uh, yeah, this is quite nice. And the uh, battery seems to be charging. It's green now, it was uh, orange, and here it says 100% so this is the first time when I'm unplugging this laptop I have no idea if it will stay on or not okay it is on so basically it seems uh, some battery life uh, is left in this almost 10 year old battery how much life remains to be seen Hopefully enough to do a, a complete scan of a car and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. I don't know why, but I'm feeling confident that uh, at least, okay, it seems pretty optimistic. <laughs> Almost three hours. Anyway, this has been it guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, ask what you want in the comments, give this video a like, subscribe, check my other videos and uh, see you again next time. Bye!